Hey everybody, this is Spot. Welcome back to Galsiv 2. We are playing as the Terran, I think, Confederation? Is that who we are? Yeah, hmm. yeah anyway. Uh, in the last episode, I just uh, laid out the basics. We got Mars colonized. We, uh, we're working on our second um, uh, mine, asteroid mine. And uh, yeah, we're currently working on a universal translator, which is nice. We're going to take our next turn here. Oh, we found a uh, 100 BC. Boom, 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 boom. Still going and grabbing everything, which we have a auction off. Well, a thousand BC. We're making some bank. Look at this. They're doing the same thing, which is funny. We're kind of like running around each other. Okay. Universal translators have been perfected. What do we want now? Interstellar government. Political capital would be nice. Diplomacy. We really want to get our diplomacy up even more as much as possible. Plus 10%. But we need to work on drives as well. Um, new propulsion technique, Xeno Engineering will give our social production plus 10%. This is buildings, remember? This is buildings on the planet's surface. Um, I think we're gonna wait. I think we're gonna go for new propulsion techniques, which is gonna take four weeks. Okay, welcome our creature, gaze upon us, for we are the future. That's enough looking, now stay out of our way. Okay, so... Here's the deal. So that's these guys here. You'll notice uh, th th now this is their flagship. So like our flagship's way down there. This is their flagship. They're just they're coming over to say hello in their your collective way. In fact, if I remember correctly, I think they're robotic. So there's that. All right. So let's see here. Let's go to we haven't been to the shipyard yet. Uh, so we'll get to that later. But let's look at was it foreign stats? Yeah, we can go to foreign stats. Here. Okay. So these are our current relations. Um, these are the different uh, guys that we've actually ran into. Um, this is their view of us. We're currently neutral with all of them. Relations, neutral, neutral, neutral. Uh, military, strongest. Economy, strongest. Okay, military, strongest. Economy, average. Military, strongest. Economy, average. Um, I think this is between us and them. I th Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, so as an example. So now we go in here. We can We, we can speak to this guy. Boom. This type of screen should look familiar. This is um, quite civ-like. Pretty much um, almost any diplomatic stuff other than maybe Star Wars 2, which is a bit different uh, and actually quite cool. Um, we can trade pretty much everything as, as a trade, even things that aren't usually considered necessarily a trade, quote unquote, uh, like treaties. Um, we can trade planets. Um, we can trade technologies, which is nice. You can turn this off, but this is a huge deal, right? Um, uh, you can fill out honestly if you're if you got really high diplo you can fill out you know like a third of your entire tech tree just by tr tr trading with other uh, countries so this is this is these guys the, the the touring confederation we can change this to i believe what is this viewpoint report which is interesting so this shows us the man on the street opinion poll their people have no real opinion of us their diplo evaluation they admire our way of life they're not very militaristic well that's good to know wonderful and we can do treaties report, and, and w w which we have no treaties with them. Trade report, we have, uh, uh, they're getting zero of their income from trade. And zero of it comes from us. Which matters, because right, if a large portion of their income from stuff bleh, comes from us, they might be more uh, inclined to help us with something, or less inclined to go to war with us, for example. Uh, we'll go to relations report. Diplomatic status, uh, who they are at war with, at peace, blah, blah, blah. They're at war with the pirates. Pretty much everyone's at war with the pirates, from my understanding. We'll go back to view screen because he's a cutie. Okay, so ships, blah, 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 ships. A lot of these things like technologies and stuff will be uh, missing if you're at war with the person or the, the civilization. We have no uh, trade goods to trade. We could trade money and influence points. Isn't that interesting? Um, so there's nothing really to do here. What the, the reason I wanted to, to do here, we can't even do an alliance. We can do economic treaties though. Let's see, let's try to actually do an economic treaty. Economic treaty. Uh, now, the cool thing about this is that immediately these are color coded, right? So right now this doesn't necessarily, this means pretty much no, okay? Uh, you do economic treaty? Okay. Notice how it says, no, they're gonna say no here, but we don't know them at all. This is the first time we've ever talked to them. So our incredible ability diplomacy gives us a great advantage. It's a really high advantage, like really. Um, see, please don't think it's the wrong way, but we feel this is too early for us to commit to any for Yeah, we have no history with them whatsoever, right? In fact, the majority of the time that they've known of us, um, our flagship has been running around grabbing uh, spoils from their their area. They haven't complained about it, which is nice. So we can remove these, etc. They probably won't take a, uh, a research treaty either. No, not yet. 
uh, which is kind of funny. That's fine. But they don't really trust us. That's the thing, right? So we're going to do done. But the more Diplo we have, the more power we have to um, force things to, or, or, or nudge. We'll use the word nudge. That sounds better. Nudge things to go in our way, right? And, it, and it's a big, it gets to be a bigger and bigger nudge, okay? So we're going to do done there. We're going to take our next turn. We're new propulsion. Okay, we, uh, we we finished our research lab on Earth. Have we? Okay, let's remove this off of research currently. Bump. Now you'll notice that when we did that, our space miner dropped down to five weeks. Yay! In fact, we're gonna throw everything we got at military, which is actually probably getting all of it anyway. Yeah, it's getting almost all of it anyway. This is just gonna pull some away from research, so it doesn't really matter because this doesn't really go up. Uh. Yeah, even if we do, uh, it actually goes up barely, but not much. So we're just gonna leave this so research doesn't get anything pulled because the only thing really being done on this planet other than generating research, which is kind of gonna be done anyway, because probably a lot of the research here is coming from these research labs and they don't do anything more than that. That's all they do. Um, the only thing that we're gonna be able to do is, uh, is we're not building any buildings. We're only building that space miner. So pretty much everything's going into that as it is. Probably if we started building, like none of this is being used. So if we started building something here, this would take longer. Um, and I don't think that we act, do we want to build something here? You know what? We're not. This increases energy. Yeah. You know what? I think we're going to build another one of these. Do we want to do it there? That's fine. Yeah, do it there. Great. What is this? Wait, what is this? Is this a factory? No, that's a factory. This is a traditional factory that's upgrading? Wait, what? No, 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 no. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, here. Put a factory here. We're going to put another factory here. Or do we want to do a farm? You know what? We need to build a farm because uh, that'll increase our population max, which we definitely need to do. So we're going to do that. We're going to build on that. Wonderful. All right. And then on Mars, we're currently building... What are we building? It should tell us. It should tell us. And I just... There we go. Six weeks. Six weeks on Mars. Wonderful. Turn done. Oh, and this is done. So I also changed an option in the... Is this is this actually... Yeah, you'll notice that this is pushing to Mars now, which is going to help them tremendously. Um, I, I did an option where this should, I believe, ask us this time before it starts building this resource. Nope, it didn't. It just went ahead and did it. That's fine. We're going to have another uh, miner done here within nine weeks uh, that'll help with these. And then we'll just keep it around to help with other like there's one up here. Actually, we can't see anything else here. So there's probably more asteroids over here. We need to build like a scout. I wonder if we're building that right now. But yeah, we can build a scout later. Let's let's not let's, let's cancel that. If we just do a build right now, it's weird. It doesn't actually put it into a there's no queue. It's just like we're building a scout now and it'll actually take some of the production towards this and put it towards the scout i believe all right so we're gonna do turn more turn new propulsion blah, blah blah now this doesn't actually give us anything i don't think or does it no you have us hyperdrive plus which is nice um and we're gonna go into um ion drives and yeah all of this you know impacts how fast you can move which is pretty hardcore um social production yeah, do we want to do harmony crystals, diplomacy? Actually, what I would like to do is the one where we get alliances. Yeah, let's do this first version of diplomacy here. Wonderful. That's we don't really want Earth to build anything else at the moment. Um, although, yeah, we're good. We good. Can, can we focus over here? No, it's not going to make that much of a difference. So we'll just we'll just keep doing it like this. Turn. It's covered uh, a future espionage efforts by 1%, which we're not throwing anything into espionage at the moment. Cruise discovered a set of captain's logs. Um, upgrading your ship later will make it much more lethal. Interesting. These logs contain valuable lessons for your crew, which has improved their level of experience. Groovy. Uh, 500 BC. Great. Hey, he's back. Wonderful. Are you done? No, oh, you're not done. Wow, that was fast. All right, so you're going to go over here now. Oh, oh, slowly but surely. Why can't I actually see any of the things on here? That's weird. Um, and actually, one thing that we'll probably want to do after the diplomatic relations here is we're actually, I want to actually go for 
space mining. Is it here? Oh, it's here. Oh, which we got to get to Xeno Inter Inter Engineering. I, I, I didn't notice that this this actually follows like all this like Xeno research improves research. This improves research, planetary improvements, improves research, uh, imp improves military production and social production. And we get manufacturing capital, which will be really great. Um, a bunch of stuff. Um, the stuff that I was talking about. Ah, like here, look. Aquatic world colonization, um, barren world colonization, uh, radioactive world, heavy gravity, toxic atmosphere, all these things, right? Uh, we get uh, a Xeno medicine, which will improve, improve, improve population growth, which is nice. This will improve population growth, a bunch of stuff. Where's our mining? Space mining's right here. So we actually need to get to Xeno engineering, then interstellar construction, then we can get into space mining, which will allow us to build bigger mines, which will push more production to our planets. And that's all good stuff. Well, um, also, we'll notice some things down here. Is it here? Logistics is important because this determines how many ships or command points we can put in one fleet. Um, and fleets fight as a unit, so... You want to make sure that you can um, uh, put as many ships in there as, as possible. And obviously, the bigger the ship, the bigger uh, the more command points they have, and therefore the more logistics that they they eat up pretty much um, inside of a fleet. So there's all that. The other thing, oh, let's see, where's I can find this is life support, which will allow. Um, actually, let me show you this. This is actually interesting. It's our our flagship here. Okay, so this is our flagship right here. If we scroll out, we'll see something. This 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 ring right here. This is actually the distance that they can fly away from, I guess, a common world. Yeah, a common world. So, for instance, before we got um, Mars, this was probably like right here. <laughs> um, but Mars expanded it. So you'll notice it's probably not an actual full circle. It's actually a little bit different because it's actually being pushed out a little bit by the reach from Mars. Although, actually doesn't look like it. That may be the closest spaceport actually, which would make sense. Um, the life support stuff, and, and they were able to be outside of that, I think, because they went through the wormhole. Um, and which you'll notice that wormhole only goes one way, which is actually really good to know about. Or did that, or, or did it close up? Oh, no, no, I think it closed up. It was unstable. So, okay, so it's gone. But um, you'll notice that he pretty much beelined it directly for this line because that's where pretty much it's how far they, they can get supplies is what it pretty much comes down to. But we can improve that by getting more life support stuff, which is here. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is this is large scale, large scale. This is like advanced holes allows you to build uh, bigger base ships, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. Ah, miniaturization. Uh, miniaturization actually... To understand this let's go into the shipyard okay so let's say that th these are templates let's just go with ship let's say we could start with a um we want to do new ship right and on this new ship we want to start with uh a, a hole we have to pick a hole right and the only things that we have available right now are cargo holes and tiny holes um now the difference is you'll see capacity C cargo holes have 60 capacity that's quite a bit tinies have 16 which is tiny actually and you're thinking well why would you ever build a tiny well the tinies also have five hit points and the cargos have one they're not made for any type of combat whatsoever okay but so for instance if you do a cargo hole and you pick that and then you can go to things like extras these are pretty much cosmetic in fact i think they're completely cosmetic and then you go to engines and you're like okay so we have hyperdrive plus now because we've actually re researched that right and we can throw this boom hyperdrive one hyperdrive engine now that had a size of 18 cost 30 speed one now the cost has to do with how much it how long it takes you to build it and in your maintenance that you're paying on it i think you pay maintenance yeah yeah and the size is how much the size you see the 60 we just took up 18 just with the engine alone nothing else like the whole engine boom it can move now it can do nothing else but it can move um we have no weapons available or we throw those on there we have no defenses available we throw those on there modules we have a colony module remember how we have a colony ship our colony ship is probably primarily not the plus but probably just a hyperdrive um and a colony module bloop, which they threw in there like that it's big because it holds 500 million people so you would think it would need to be big in fact that's probably not really big enough but we're not going to go on about it um sensors allow you like as it's moving across the map and it, and it has a visible area it's a bigger area uh, the higher end sensors you get and basic life support. Now this right here, does it show us? Range is uh, 
0.1 SCT, and I don't know what SCT is, but it's a ways, right? Um, this here is basic support, so we could put basic support on here, and the, where is it? Did it actually go in there? Oh no, there we go. Now the range goes up to 0.5 SCT. What, what, what was it before? Uh, we can remove this, I believe, doing that. Yeah, it's 0.2. So this just increased that thing. Now these are modules, so you can put as many of these on there as you want, as long as you're under the actual weight, the actual, you know, tonnage of the thing, because the shipyard can only produce whatever, whatever, okay? What the miniaturization does, I'm actually going to clear this because we don't need it. We're gonna go done. Uh, done. Um, what the miniaturization does is, if I can find it again here, plus 10%. So it drops the actual weight requirement of all items, excuse me, by 10% is my understanding. Yes, because it, it, it allows you to build things smaller, if that pretty much makes sense, right? And actually, um, so th that's why this is important. And then you get, I don't know what the difference is there in this. What is this? Uh, it'll tell us. What does this give us? I don't know. I don't know what that, that little icon is there. Oh, you know what? I think that's the miniaturization icon, but you don't get it here because you get the three dots because you get more than just miniaturization on these. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. And a, a lot of these, um, these sensors, for example, uh, not just sensors, anything that has like Mark 1, Mark 2, sometimes the actual performance of the item is the same, but the upgraded version is just smaller so you can fit more of them um, or or you can fit one in a place that you normally couldn't fit it, right? I mean, it's like the difference between, you know, um, uh, uh, you, you know, old computers from the 1950s compared to, you know, your iPhone in your pocket or Android phone in your pocket today. Like there's the, the amount of just, well, I mean, in your iPhone in your pocket today can do way more even, but um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. So the more miniaturization you have, the more stuff you can fit into one ship, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna do a turn. I know I've been explaining a lot of stuff and we're gonna get out of the explaining part. This is gonna probably be the the like last episode where I do a lot of explaining. Okay, so we completed our factory on Mars. We're gonna go there. Um, we have a pot. Now our population is growing slowly, understandable. Um, do we wanna build a starport here? We only have these three places right now because we're not going to get soil enrichment for a while, soil enhancement for a while. It's going to be a while. So I'm not sure what we want to do here. Um, I'm thinking that we may, because I don't think a basic farm actually increases, it actually does increase our food production, which is nice. I think you have to have a megaton for every billion people, which is not really a well, it's a thousand tons. I don't, I think that's way too little for a billion people, but I think, so I think right now we're actually generating um, more food than we need, far more food than we need, which is fine. Um, I'm just gonna wait at the moment. I'm gonna wait, we're gonna throw everything that Mars has into research to help get that stuff done faster. And that's what we're gonna do. And on Earth, we're still working on the space miner. Okay, actually it's one week away. Boom, okay, adapted to fitter culture, loyalty of citizen, so that's probably approval. Even though it's going down because we actually have more people now, right? Uh, discovery by an estimate, approved uh, our people's morale will be, okay, this is our morale, I don't know, it's, it's not loyalty. Oh, loyalty, yeah, loyalty is a different stat. Loyalty has to do with, you, you know that whole thing about influence and flipping other people's stuff so, so that they their people wanna serve you instead? That's loyalty, and there's other things that you can do to impact loyalty. All right, so most powerful civs, Terran Alliance. I don't know why we're the most powerful. Um, maybe because we have an extra space miner. I don't know. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna launch this space miner, which just j drops it out there. Um, see this over here? Look at all this, awesome. Um, and we have, actually there's another rock here. So he's still building that. I guess I'm gonna send this one over here. Boom. And this auto survey, you know what, here, let me help you. You go there, great. I actually, survey team has uncovered the remains of device. Yeah, uh, improved by the uh, morale. Right, wonderful. Um, okay, I want you to stop auto and I wanna go look at some of these planets. So like this one, heavy gravity colonization, when we have that, we'll be able to uh, inhabit this planet. And that's actually a class 12, which I think is pretty good. I forget the class system. I don't know if that has anything to do with like survivability. 
These are all uninhabitable. Okay, turn. Um, we're still in Diplo relations over here. Two weeks. One week. Okay, what we got here? Uninhabitable. Uninha yeah, class zero. We're probably both of these are gas giants. Uninhabitable. You're over here? Nothing? Uh, see, like, we don't even know what's over here at all. So I I'm just going to have him. Actually, you know what? Here. You can go here next week. Next, uh, yeah, next week, actually. Diplomatic relations. Ba -ba -ba -ba. The trick to good relations with alien species is to first avoid killing them. I agree completely. That's a very good point. Um, I wanted to get alliances, but I also want to get into that. We're going to go with alliances first. What is this going to cost us? 20 weeks. Maybe we'll wait. This will give us social production, which we don't actually need at the moment, but that'll give us access to Xeno research as well. So we're going to go with uh, Xeno engineering. What is this? Oh, this is our mining base. Yay. Um, wait, what? Oh, I thought you were going to start there. Um, you know what? I can just set this guy and automate. Did he do that one already? Wow, he's doing this fast. Oh, it's just four weeks. Did that get faster? Did we get something that caused it to go faster? Weird. And I don't know why we're not getting these over here. That's actually kind of weird. So you'll notice that this one is actually going over here now to Mars. So Mars could become a pretty uh, heavy um, production place pretty soon because all these are going to probably go to Mars. I mean, what we're going to probably do is these are going to probably go to Mars and we're probably going to take like two of these, if not all three, and, sh and, and send them to Earth because that's the only thing that makes sense. And these, who knows? Like, here's Thebes. I wonder if there's actually any planets around here. Actually, we don't... We've seen stuff over here. Is there a planet? That's not inhabitable. Grab that. 250, yay. We want to go... Like, for instance, this right here, if we put a bigger, a nicer or more sensor modules on him, right? Uh, we could... Uh, we, we would get a bigger visual point there, right? Um, I guess I should be doing this just so... We don't have to come back into it later. Um, what's what's actually interesting? Look, we got soldiering percentage. Wonderful. Uh, trade ability five percent. I, you know what? Honestly, I do not remember at all how to do the trade like routes and stuff. I'm gonna have to just remember that. Uh, these things, these anomalies, will respawn from time to time, which is kind of cool. So you, you'll have areas where you didn't, you, you've you've all or you've swept them clean, and there's more. So, which is pretty cool. Uh, trade ability by 5%. Awesome. You have no planets around you? Ah, you have some. Uninhabitable? Probably uninhabitable. Usually the big guys, pretty uninhabitable. You know, engineering. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Wonderful. Uh, now, do we want to do Xeno research, which will just improve our research in general? Four weeks. Or do this? Seven. We're going to do the Xeno research first. I like research. I do. It's, um, it's one of those things that keeps on giving. Right, because you just get more, and if you can out-research the other guys, man, so much better. Ooh, hello, another star. Oh, you know what? I didn't know if you clicked on the star, it tells you how many colonized planets there are. Oh, that's so much better. Zero, so much easier. Colonized planets, asteroid fields. Tells you how many asteroid fields as well. Zero colonized planets. How about here? One colonized planet. Wait, this is colonized. Habitable is what we're looking for. Okay, so these guys have one. Where's the other one? Here we go. Habitable by all. Interesting. We may actually have to, are we in asteroid fields? No. Asteroid fields? No. This has got, see, four. Two asteroid fields, makes sense. One habitable planet, which of these? Oh, it's this one, but it's just uninhabitable right now, right? I assume it's including that as habitable, yeah. That's zero, so this has one hab habitable, habitable, habitable planet, Centauri four, makes sense. Oh, did you have any asteroid fields? No. Military resource, we can build star bases on these by the way, which we haven't gotten to, we're going to. It'll be fine, it'll be good. Um, so I think what we may want to do, how's Earth's population looking? Uh, where are you? 9.9 .9 billion, absolutely. Now, the thing is about the colony ships, you'll notice that they kind of go away. They're not transport ships. They're just like, oh, look, you've colonized. Look, your ship's gone. Isn't that nice? Now, one of the things about 
colonizing this. Although we could send like two of these over to here. That would make these guys mad, but they're gonna always be mad. Your is always gonna be mad. Just won't go away. So that's definitely something. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Earth. Uh, are we building another space miner? No, 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 no. We don't wanna do that. We wanna build another colony ship though. Um, you know what? We may actually want to design another colony ship, which I need to do very quickly because we are out of time. We're gonna do new. We're gonna do a cargo hull. That's what we want. Boom. We're gonna go uh, all the way to modules real quick. Colony module. Boom. So that'll, I believe that will, uh, 500. We're gonna put another one here on the bottom. Plump. There we go. That's gonna take up the majority of the space, but then we're gonna go to engines. We have hyperdrive plus, which is size 18. Can we get two of these in here? Nope, just one. That means it's gonna be slow as hell. That's fine. Hyperdrive plus, boom. Um, and can we fit? Probably not. We fit basic life support. Size is five, we cannot. Nope, that's it. But if we wanna put a billion people over there, that's how it's done. Um, you know what? Here's what I'm more interested in. Let's remove one of these. And we're just gonna put some more engines on this because I would prefer this thing to be fast. Actually, we'll just put the two. So it means remove that one. Yes. Drive plus, we'll put it over there. This really doesn't matter because you don't really see it much on the map, but this is more for like nerdisms stuff. Modules, uh, basic support. We cannot fit in there. That is five. See, if we got, for instance, one level of miniaturization, we could actually fit the, the basic support in there. So that would be nice. We're gonna save this as, um, it's people mark one. No, um, I, I don't know. We're just do, we're just gonna do colony, colony, <laughs> colony mark two, fine. I'm, I'm very boring, I know. All right, stop that, stop, stop, done. Okay, we're gonna do build user colony mark two. Done, how long does it take? Four weeks, awesome. Now, this is almost halfway done because they're taking the production that we had put towards that space miner and we're putting it towards this. Um, I don't know if that happens all across the board or if it's just because we're using a cargo hull uh, as well. So that's a thing. Boom, uh, asteroid, do -do -do. The asteroid's done, you're done. Hey, look. Ooh, see, these guys are mining this already. Mm-hmm. Punish leaving. Altaria, I don't think we've met them yet. So that's a thing. So we probably need to colonize this asap -Z's, especially since this is the corner of the map and they're probably looking for, so we need to build another colony ship immediately after this. And we're gonna send one over here. We're gonna take this planet and we're gonna send one over here. And we're gonna take this planet, which is technically not in our borders, but we don't care. All right, awesome, cool. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm gonna put a cut here. And uh, yeah, give me a like if you really uh, like this game. We're gonna continue on. Um, this isn't gonna be a really long game, but you know, it is a 4X, but this is pretty much the entire size of the galaxy, right? It doesn't get, this isn't like Civ where, ooh, as you, you find more, it gets bigger. No, that's it. That's the whole thing right there. So it won't be a real long game. It'll be fun, you know? And uh, uh, if you want to grab this, by the way, it's on Steam. I don't know how, how much it is. This is like the, the ultimate edition. And I mean, it's probably like, $15, it might, it might be a little bit more right now because they just patched it and it's getting a little bit of, oh my God, they patched Galsiv too. Um, but uh, yeah, keep your eye on it for sure. Absolutely. Cool, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.